You see it? You see it? This is my bottle of champagne. champagne. You be with me, you enjoy it. See the end of time. Mm. I must be there. I'm also selling fine granite. Anybody want to follow me? It come is free. Eating is free. Taking it home it costs you money. You give me money, I give you my corn. Stop. You chop, I chop. All of us. I give you a bite, you buy mm, the chop. Okay. I'm eating my own now. You want to eat? Come on, eat now, baby. Hey, my love, you eat now. Eat Eat before it's too late. No one to eat. I'll cry now. You don't want to eat my cock. <laughs> I'll give you my cock now. You don't want to eat this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> A camera is switched off. Change, please. Next. Next. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, Emeka, I have told you not to step your filthy legs into my land. Your father died, Richard. You have to learn how to live. The Igwe and the chiefs in the castle have told you that this land belongs to me. Emeka, I was a chief already in this kingdom when, you had, when, when, when your father gave back to you. Your, was, your father was in the forest of Amako, hunting rabbits when you were born. And now you are here talking with me. Leave my land. The next time I meet you in this land, I will cut off your fifty legs. Emeka, what is the problem with you? Eh? Your great grandfather, Mazeko, sold the last plot of land he has to Ezimo family. Your grandfather, that is a story over the village. Leave this land alone. You have to run. Because when I meet you, I'll cut off your legs. I will, I'm going to meet Ezimo and I will put ghosts in this land that will cripple you and your family. This is my land. The king, the castle of chiefs have said that this is my land. You were there. Your wife is there. And you still cultivate this land. What is your problem, Emeka? What is your problem? Your father was a Pangwai Tapa. He does not have a cassava farm. Talk more of a, 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 a Yamban. And you are here, standing in my land. Don't worry. Stay. The, oh, no, don't worry. Stay. Cultivate my land. I'm coming for you. You think? This land is yours. Hello, can I just see? God, call me my brother, the prince. What nonsense. I'm not interested in your greeting. What am I hearing? That you are in love with a commoner. A nobody. Oh my God. Love? Did I hear you say love? You are a prince and the next king in line for this kingdom. And you are here talking about love. You're married to Princess Olama. It's to bring peace and unity for the both kingdom. And you are here preaching about love. Are you insane? You know what? Our father. In this grave, with the tony rolling over, 
by the sound of this. How dare you speak to me in that manner? How dare you? You being the prince of the kingdom does not give you the audacity to insult me. I say Action, Joy, or oh, Jennifer. On mute. On mute, please. Action. Oh. Ah. Yay! Keep on Zimbabwe Kingdom. Keep on our noble elders. Mm. The gods are wise. <laughs> You are the reason for the atrocities in the kingdom. Mm. You impregnated a young woman and killed her unjustfully in the evil forest. Her spirits cry for justice. He that killed by the sword must die by the sword. Leads to consequences. did it. <laughs> no, I'm not a victim. I can't bear just they called me on the phone and the next day I arrived there. Then I saw that he's dead. The next day I saw the police make him and they said I killed him. I did not kill him. I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the one. I'm just a little bit of what I don't know anything about. <laughs> no, no, no. No, please, please, please. Please, no. oh, thank God. Oh, only God, no. I didn't do it. Next. Cut. Cut. What did you just do? What is that? Tell us. We said we are looking for dance talents and not, not actors for the next um, Resident Evil scary movie challenge. What did you just do? Listen, I'm an actor, I'm not a dancer, but I can do better than what you just did. As a matter of fact, let me take you to school on that. Sound, please. No music because of copyright. Thank you. I want to see you smile. Smile and play. Give me that music. Give me that music. God! God! Please, can you call the prince for me, my brother? What nonsense, Marine. I'm not interested in your prince. No, I'm not interested. The guy that came to my office and said, I'm here and everything. And last time, you want to see him just like that? I can't take that anymore. I cannot take that. 
All I'm going to say is going to call. I'm ready to charge him to court. I'm taking him to court. I'm going to face the court. By next week, I'm taking him to court. That's all I know. You see, look at the court. I'm taking him to court. Why would he do that? Why? Why would he come to my office and steal all my documents and steal all my laptop, everything, all the equipment in my office? Hey, I mean, I'm charging you to court. That's what I said. I don't care to know what you're saying. All I know, I'm charging you to court. Hey, you were still talking. You mean you were still talking? I don't care to know what you're saying. All I know, I'm charging you to court. What? Come get out of my office. I mean, get out of my office. Wait. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's everybody so far. Our contestants are really ready to fly. And I know all our fans from around the world are entertained. Greetings to all new Discovery TV London in extension for step to Stardom's fans from around the world. You are welcome to this season. This is season six. Thank you for stopping by. You know, we love you. This is first step to stardom. It's still the very first free online international reality TV theater practice training show and a film school. From what you've seen, our participants, I mean, from their live performances with no iota doubt, it indicates that they know why they are here and are ready to cruise this season even as our professionals are also prepared to do to them. I reckon you're all entertained, aren't you? Be honest, tell me what you feel like at the comment section. Control room, cruise to Nigeria quickly. Let me welcome our one and only legendary actor, the first step to start an amazing facilitator in the person of actor, Steve Abel, AKA Ajebo on the live screen, please. Ajabo, how are you? I'm good. Thank you, House. In the fact, camera is switched off. I've been seriously entertained now. <laughs> it seems that our participants are very, very good. They know what they want, as uh, you rightly said. They know what they want. I love what they've just shown. And uh, with little uh, teachings, they will go places. Once again, I welcome everybody. We are ready to move. You guys are ready to move. So let us move together. Thank you very much once again. Thank you, our legendary facilitator. Nice to see you. You're looking good. Still in the giant, still at the giant of Africa, Nigeria. Please spotlight our super talented director, producer, actor, David White on the live screen, please. David, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I can see our contestants, uh, they are very well prepared. And then this is a boom, it's a mind blowing uh, something. So you are all welcome and thank you for being here. Or uh, whatever you see, whatever you want to express, please put it at the comment section. God bless you. Thank you. Welcome, David. Tracy DK on the big screen, please. Tracy DK from France. Hi, Tracy. Hi, CEO. I like your performance. I'm not the College of Judges to score you, but I like the performance. I like your action. I like the energy. I like your costume. And I mm -hmm. like your makeup and your and your location befits the the character you portrayed. Welcome. Thank you. Where about are you in France? Hello, ma. Where about do you live in France? I live in Paris, ma. Okay, Paris. Okay, that's fine. You're welcome. Thank you very much, ma. Um, Cruises Entertainment to Dubai and Spotlight Daniel Ayabe, aka Danny Boy, on the big screen quickly. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Hi, ma'am. I'm good. Thank you. How are you, ma'am? Not bad. I also like um, your makeup. I like um, the location and the way you 
you know, you portrayed the character that you you showcased to the global audience. That was not bad. I'm not the College of Judges to score you, but for me, you tried. Welcome. Thank you so much, ma'am. All right, let's cruise again to Nigeria and spotlight um, in a marvelous quickly. In a marvelous, you are, I mean, you are having a land dispute with someone. The location, yes, the location befits the, you know, the, 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 the role you played. And I like the lines, I like the interpretation. That was a good one. I like your costume as well. It, be, it shows that you are a village person and a village elder who, ha, who is having a land dispute. You acted it well. For me, you tried. Congratulations. Welcome. Yeah, next on the screen, let's see Ajay Precious from Nigeria, Abuja. Ajay, you did well too. I like your makeup. I like your costume. I like Thank uh, you, Mom. yeah, I like your lines. You did well. Thank Welcome. You. Jennifer Oyare. Jennifer, you did well, but put in mind that this is a competition. So when you are asked to come and display something, a live performance, when they are giving you an assignment for the College of Judges, take it seriously. Because when you are you know, presenting whatever you want to present to the global audience, you need to add additional stuff to assist the performance. Yeah, a props. You know, um, you know, making it dramatic is what they are really looking at for. So have that in the back of your mind for subsequent time. You still have time to get it right. Welcome. Uche Purity, please. From Nigeria, Uche Purity, if you are there, you too, you still have to take it seriously. I know you have the passion. I know you have the, you have the energy. When an assignment like this is given by the College of Judges, it has to be dramatic. They want to see something extraordinary, okay? You didn't do badly, but welcome. And now Martins from Cameroon. Where is this Cameroon man? <laughs> How are you and now? When I saw you, I mean, I was thinking you're indeed, um, a madman who has gone mental, Coco, for over decades. Well, you did well. Um, the location you are standing, you know, um, automatically told um, the story that you are somebody who has lost it. I mean, the lines and um, your, your costume, the makeup, well done, welcome. Who have I not mentioned? Who have I not mentioned? No secretary from Italy, please. Hi, no sacred. If you're not talking, please. I'm very fine, ma'am. Audio. No sacred. Yeah, you tried as well, but you have to understand that the character that you are representing, you know, according to the character, you are accused of killing somebody and you didn't kill the person. You should have been very emotional. We want to see you cry. The cry, should, the, the tears should be dropping. That, that, that particular role you took, that you interpreted, you know, it's an emotional role. You know, next time, if you're picking that role, we want to see the tears. I never did it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But yeah, you're telling me that. Well I never do it. <laughs> Well done, well done. Thank you. We appreciate you. Who have I not mentioned here? I think that is everybody. You're all welcome. I was entertained. The College of Judges has given me signal here from my monitor here that you guys did marvelously well. Welcome. Without wasting time, I would like us to go for one quick break. And when we'll come back, the new Discovery TV London extension, first step to start on, will continue doing your way. Control room, if you're ready, take us on one quick. Sit down. Sit down. What are you doing in my office? Yes, they can't be that not to go into the country for school when not they come out. Put your phone on mute. You are not talking. 
told you before, Amaka. You refuse to listen. I know. You seek to be the best winner. Why you wouldn't have done that plot with my friend? Welcome. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, okay, it's my turn now. Yeah, good evening, everybody. And uh, please, I would like this. Good evening, David. Yes, I would like everybody to be with at least a pen and a paper or a book where you can jot down some lines because this will help you very much in what you are going to do. So uh, let's look at the topic of today, techniques of a uh, great actor. First, we have to know the meaning of uh, an actor, who is an actor and uh, who is an actress. Before I tell you the meaning, I. Uh, this was discussed with you by one of our teacher, Jebo, last uh, uh, week, I believe so, yes. Then um, the word actor is also known as thespian. The thespian is a Greek word because the first ever known man to be an actor is from Greek and the name is Thespis. So from the Thespis, the word Thespian was derived from. So now let's look at who is an actor and an actress. So an actor is a person who portrays a character in a performance. The tradition, in the traditional methods or in the modern medium, such as filming, radio and television then the actor the, the sorry for that then the actor is a theoretical performer that perform a given role that puts it into reality that is an actor then let's go to the techniques of a great actor one, classical acting. The classical acting is the umbrella team for philosophy of acting that integrates the expression of the body, the body movement, the voice, the imagine, imagination, then personalizing and improvisation and a standard stimulo. What is this? What am I talking about with this? Sometimes you are giving a, a character to portray. Then for you to portray that character very well, first of all, you have to analyze the script. That is the script analysis. You have to understand what that line, that sentence is talking about. Once you understand that sentence, then at, in your heart, in your heart, imagine something in your memory. Let your memory, let your brain work with your heart. Then imagine something, interpret that line. For instance, you, the, the sentence instructs you to mourn somebody who just died, or you lost a father, then remember your ugly incident. Mm -hmm. Then you have placed yourself in that mood. Before you know it, tears start dropping from your eyes. 
then that makes you to stand out as a good actor. Then we look at Stan Slivsky. Stan, Sliv Stan Slivsky is another system approach, is another technique. Is an is a technique which the actor draws upon their own feelings. I just explained little part of this. They draw upon themselves their own feeling, experience, and convey the truth of that character they portray. The actor puts himself in that position, in that particular position, which he or she was asked to do. Then let's look at method acting. Then the method acting is another technique that you as an actor or an actress need to put to assist the other actor in that scene or in that scenario. For instance, you have to act as a father and you have a son. Then your son, with your lines you give to your son, then your son will be able to pick up and respond to you. That will make that scene a unique scene. Then let's go to Michael Chivok technique of acting. Then this acting is a unique and is what each and every one of you needs to know. Is a psychophysical approach to acting. When you say psycho, it's do with your psychology. It's you, that particular uh, character that you are asked to play, it affects you emotionally. For instance, you just lost somebody. I've explained this before. Is almost going to the same way. You imagine the atmosphere, then you put in your creativity. This allows you to stand out different. Then you see in the nearest future, everybody will start looking for you. I want to use, make use of this person to play this character for me. I want to make use of this person. I want to make use of this person and so on and so on. Because that character you are given to portray, you put in your best and it was perfect. Then from there, it takes us to what are the four key type of actor? We have four main type of actors. Then the first is the role player actor. That is role player actor or actors, they are the one that goes against their personnel. For instance, you are a pastor by profession, and then now you are asked to smoke in his character you are portraying. So that will affect your personality. And that pastor will not play, will not accept to play that particular character. He was to portray it. Then we look at the chameleon actor. The chameleon actors are the actors that can play any role given, any given role they can play it. Be it a chief priest, an arm robber, a kidnapper, a pastor, a prince, any role at all. That's why they are called the chameleon actors. Then we have, they are the one that they play variety roles or relating to their personality. They are just born for it. They are in for it. That is what they do. Then we have the non-professional actors. These actors, sometimes we call them, even if they spend their whole lifetime in the acting career, they will not be like, they will not stand out like the other actors. For instance, you will see some persons, you pay them million plus to play a character for you. 
the wise one, you can just give them peanuts. It's not that they are, they, at the beginning, they are non-professional. They just come, they, they never take it serious. It's not their profession. So they just come, they do one or two. For a very long time, you're not going to see them. So you say, yes, I know this face. Yeah, I, this face, uh, this is style. Whereas your money is not big in the entertainment, is a little change. Then why we have some other actors who take this as their uh, profession, it depends on this. They go from one location to the other. They are paid for this. At the end of the year, they can tell you, uh, this year I have achieved 1,000, uh, I've gone, I've gone uh, for 1,000 theme locations and they've delivered it successfully. So now, another technique which are not in the syllables which I draw out, I, I draw out, you have to put this in mind, number one, your rehearsals. That makes you to stand out as a unique actor. For instance, when you're at home, just like the introduction, how you go, your performance just now is a unique performance. Though some we are lucky behind. At your leisure time, have a mirror. If you can cry, cry it where you will score yourself on that mirror. Sometimes act like a chief priest, put a camera, record it. Then when you caught plate, look at your reactions. Then you will score yourself, make corrections. That is one of the techniques of being a great actor or of a great actor. Then two, instructions. If you are a person who don't listen to instruction, maybe when director say, now walk in, slap him and leave the scene. Then you will now walk in, when you hear the sound of action, then you walk in, you slap him, you kick him, you push him off. That is not what we were told to do. Then pushing that person off, you might push the person off the frame where they position that person. Then another technique which we are going to look into is your personality. The way you present yourself in location, in movie location, determines how they will uh, call you. For instance, you are going to film location as a lady. You put on mini skirt, a transparent skirt that can expose your private parts. Then you put on singlets that you're supposed to put on at home or that is not even suit for you to put on at home. You put it on and go to a location. Then you tint your hair to any kind of color you want. Then you paint your mouth. Then you put long fingernails. Then you go to a location. Then automatically, you have portrayed the character of the prostitute to a location. When you get to that location, every director, every person in that location will want to have access to you. It's not that the, we're having it in mind. But it was your appearance, your personality, how you approach them, how you, how you appear at the location. Then we give them the access to say, okay, let me approach this girl or one, you know, and that is that. Then you have automatically killed your career. When people will see you outside, that brings another name to the actors, the entertainment the movie industries. Some persons look at the ladies like prostitutes. They look at them and this thing is affecting the ladies in the entertainment, in the movie industry. You see some for years, they can't get married to somebody because the 
they, they think that they are prostitutes, but whereas they are not. Sometimes the role you play in a film affects you in the, your daily life. For instance, let me give you an example of our great uh, superstar, or let me withdraw the name. She do play wicked mother, wicked and wife. So one day when she was going to the market in Lagos, we made a pick stone, which, which they want to stone her. So it was in the, uh, the drivers that protected her and guide her to her vehicle. So the, we are think, uh, they, they thought she's a winch due to the character she portrayed. Then for me not to take much of our time, please have this in mind that every class you attend, every lecture you attend, put down something. These topics and the paperwork and the materials will be sent across to you by Discovery TV. Thank you, everyone. I hope you learn something from what I just teach you. Hello, everyone. Hi. Thank you very yes. much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I, I hope you've learned something from what I've um, explained Thank to you. you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Unmute and clap, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. After clapping, please mute your phone again. I'm mute. clapping. Yeah, mute your phone again, please. Mute your phone for quiet background. Sorry, when I called for the break, the control room went on the break, but you know, like we always say, the internet is always you know, lacking. My internet didn't show me that the break was on the screen and I called off the break. So we're going to go on the break quickly, one minute. Um, I believe our participant has enjoyed this lecture from David White, you know, the techniques of being a good actor. Yeah, let me add my voice quickly with a, you know, letting you all know that being a good actor, you is required <laughs> to be a good actor. It's not only it does not only require skill and passion. It's not enough. All around the world, renowned actors, you know, they've gone through trainings, you know, in theory and in practical to acquire more knowledge and skills that will enhance their practice. So today, like David has just taught you, you know, some tips and techniques that will make you to be a great and outstanding actor. I'm going to give you at least seven um ideas as well to support what david has said listen number one a good actor must have a good stage screen and vocal presence the primary responsibility of an actor is to interpret and portray a character either on stage or screen meaning it could either be by performing live or recorded or by pre-recorded in form of movies take note the actor is required to have a good stage presence good screen presence and good vocal presence yeah your personalities and charisma must be imposed on that character while on stage or on screen and you must be heard clearly your diction as regards to the lines you are taking must be distinct audible and perfect okay and your voice speech when you are talking and you are not heard, you're not a good actor. You know, when you are not being seen, when you are participating, you're not a good actor. Number two, an actor must be hardworking. A good actor must be hardworking. Take note. Number three, dedication. A good actor, a great actor, the techniques. A great actor must be dedicated to the act that he or she, you know, is, is putting in. Number four, a great actor must be passionate, excited, zealous concerning the dramatic act. Five, a great actor must have charisma, personality. He or she must stand out in the crowd. 
a great actor must have a good presence. Talking about your charisma. Your charisma has to do with your personality. Number six, a good actor must be punctual. Not when, I, when we are coming on life. Your CEO, your coaches will come before you. That is a very bad, I mean, technique at all. It's not allowed. A great actor must have that punctuality. He must be punctual at every given time. Okay, it must be a punctual in every aspect of production. Punctuality ethics is one great quality of a great actor. If you are shooting a film and you came late on the set, I mean, the director might even decast you. You might ask to go back. So have that at the back of your mind. Punctuality has a lot to tell. Talking about your personality. A great actor must have integrity. A great actor must have a high level of integrity. That is to say, if you pick up a script, if you act now, no sacre, can you do this movie? If you know you can't do it, tell them you can't do it. If you want to do it, if you take it, no matter the circumstances, squeeze yourself to be at the production and give it your all, your best. You know, having said all of this, you know, uh, plus what David White has taught you, and um, I know that if you are able to pick at least 80% of this lecture, work on them passionately, consistently, zealously, using that as a train format to guide and prepare yourself for the tax ahead. Trust me, you will be a great actor because you either be performing stage, screen, you know, and your um, sky will not even be your limit. Having said that, we'll go for a quick break before I call on legendary actor Ajebo to tutor you on another important topic. So control room, if you're ready, please, let's go on this amazing break. And when we we'll come back, the new Discovery TV London will continue. Don't go away. I said that you come here, I think they walk you. Need that mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't come with shots. What is this? Ah, the wall! I'm protecting you all! Give me But me in my community here in Tenako, in Cameroon, we know them as the inform. How will he say the youth of this community will not go and join the first step to stardom competition season six simply because some people have given him pride? Anybody who's a liquid alcohol is not good in the system. That person must be a bunkum. An improper shop. Yes, a hunting company somebody. Nonsense. All of you come. Let me see you people one and one. Let us exchange words of vocabularies. Let me make people know that I'm a man of high remember. Chiba. One of my come. Drunk as like you people. Destroy 
destroy them. For those that want our head, Ibudu, take their head. For everyone that plan good for us, Ibudu, give them a good taste. Ibudu, 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 Ibudu. Sink Telugu Santa. I like Baga, you know. Come and do what only you can do. Yes, speak to me. But I'm a, you are welcome. I know your problem. Check that. Your stepmother is the one that is against you. She went to an Ifa to work against your progress in life. Thank God you are here today. You will come back with a bottle of anointing oil, olive oil, shanta, Holy Spirit will speak to you. For a three days fasting and spiritual cleansing by the river. The God who governs the rivers, the heavens and the earth is here. Yes, owner of the winds, shake and side of all prayers. Nigga, let me pray for you. Mm, I like bad you know. Hey, where are you? Come here, show. Now you show here now. Come sit down for here. I said, when you come here, I think they walk you. Need that man, they see you. And they see you, they pass, they carry body, they carry. You know what I'm saying? Now they control this suit. <laughs> Can you get local? If now, when are they do, they do, they do, they do. Now you do. I go just buy you. What should they do? You go collect. Oh. I'll be making enter you. Sit down for here. I hold your ears at the top now. They hold them. He get one show. I mean, a competition on a contest they call them. When are they do for first step to start up? What I talk? Hear my mouth too. May you not tell me, say, you know, hear them. First step to start up. I won't make you run now. Go for Facebook. Go Instagram. Go, go vote for me. Because if I find your vote, I know, see ya. I don't buy you. Did they hear me? Go there, go right. I vote for Uche Purity. With this purity, when I just the answer self, I even mistake self. Because the name not even fits me. Go there. When you go vote for me, if I find your vote, I go lost you. I don't get sure you. May you know. Oh yeah, get out from here. You sent for me. <laughs> yeah. Having a nice time with me. Show and game. 
her. Not expensive. With just 500 euros, you can have all of this. To be your girlfriend. So let me see this guy. Did they send you? Did I tell you I was looking for a boyfriend? Huh? All these guys looking for a girlfriend, looking for a chauffeur in the name of girlfriend. Think I'm one of those girls. Hey bro, I've got bills to pay and this is my job. I don't do girlfriend, boyfriend stuff. My bros, look for your next passenger. O chauffeur masters. Welcome, welcome back. This is still first step to start up the only first free international online theater practice trading show, connecting individuals from around the world. I know you enjoyed that break. I mean, our participants of season six, this season is going to be the best of all seasons. They are, I mean, they came prepared. They are just giving me a, 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 a cruise. I mean, I'm so delightful that they know what they are here for. Our fans and family, I'm overjoyed. And I know you're all having fun, aren't you? This is to say a very big thank you to our influencers of First Step to Stardom. You know yourselves, you've been helping this brand massively well. Trust me, you will smile. This brand will make sure that you are being spotlighted. I mean, you're participating in the big film with Nollywood legends. Thank you for your support. Shouting out to one of our biggest fans, Thunder Scorpion. He is our greatest fan. He supports us all the time. He comes from the United States of America. We love you, Thunder Scorpion. He's also a member of First Step to Stardom. Thank you for supporting this brand and promoting this brand as well. From around the world, wherever you, wherever you are, watching what we are doing, share the live streams out, invite people to come and enjoy what you're enjoying, give us thumbs up and comment. Tell us how you want us to do it better, we will take it. Yeah, if you also want to support this brand by being a member, why not? Kindly click on the button below this live stream and choose any of the perks. We offer like four different perks, depending on the perk you choose, we can either shout you out on our live stream. You can have a conversation with us one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, depending on what you want us to do for you, you can as well be privileged to see our behind the scene movies, talking about the movies we're gonna be shooting with superstars and getting our graduates involved in it. You'll be privileged to see them first before any other person. Support us to support the, um the world you know bringing a lot of them to spotlight globally with superstars to become stars as quick as possible so moving straight into the next swing of our lecture where participants will be adequately tutored again by our legendary actor Ajebo. i hope you are all ready you have your pen and paper to take notes because his teaching is going to be very beneficial Without wasting time, let me invite Ajebo on the live screen to take us on another lecture cruise. Steve Ebo, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honestly, I enjoyed myself this evening. Um, I, like I said last time, I've been on location, filming, all this time around. In fact, I, my lecture today was supposed to be on set, practical things on set. But unfortunately, the cast and crew have a road be there shooting on the road. So I just have to go to one side of our location to take this. But sorry, Ajabo. Sorry. The... Ajabo, sorry. Are you still at the location? Yeah, but they went out. They are not close to me now. They went on road scene. They are shooting on the road, so they are not too close. Okay, I would have loved them to meet with uh, 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 me. and the rest of them on the set with you. All right, go ahead. Uh, definitely, 
one of these days. All right, I uh, really enjoyed uh, the teaching from uh, David White and then from Ukechi Discovery, what she said about being a great actor. You must have those things. I wanted to talk on rehearsals and your relationship with fellow cast and crew on set. Now, I want to tell you that I am going to be very practical. I'm going to be talking from experience, teaching you from experience. I'm not, going, I'm not being theoretical. I'm going to be very practical. I'm going to be telling you what happens on set on a daily basis to prepare your mind for what you are going to need. Because coming on set, you are meeting different characters, different people, different culture from different places. With different, definitely, you are going to die with them, quarrel with them, settle with them. The most important thing is you have to identify what you want. Now, I start with because I think David has spoken so much about rehearsals. Rehearsal shapes you to meet up with the other person. For instance, Tracy DK and uh, uh, you know, no satire or purity could be given some role. They could be on set together. Tracy could be on 80% acting ability, where uh, Nosa is on uh, 60% and purity on 10%. When you rehearse, purity will now come up and every other person will come up. So at the place you people will now meet up. Now we have a beautiful thing. Self rehearsal, personal rehearsal, the one like I, David Bradley said, you go to your house, get to self rehearse and do your facial expressions, and then you move uh, on. When you finish this chair, personal rehearsal or mirror rehearsal, as we call it, when you come on set the following day, people will marvel at what is going to come off you. I'll give you an instance. I saw a movie with uh, Richard R.M.D. sometime when we had a very new actress on set. She was so afraid to act with us. And I couldn't do anything to her. Take one, take two, take three, take four, take five, take six. We were going up to 30 takes. She wasn't there. And this, uh, the chap was a very, very beautiful and good actress. But because when you meet with the older ones, established actors, you have this little fear in you. That is why you need rehearsals to come up those rehearsals. And I told uh, Richard, what do we do to help this person? What do you think you can do? I said, okay, director, please, can you give me some time? Let me work on this girl. He said, okay, go on and do it. Now we brought a leader. You know what it's called leader? With Richard, Myself and then we started playing video and started interacting. As we were going on, she got used to us, get used to our jokes and everything. We would now say she is now on to the same level, seemingly the same level with us. We say director, let's shoot. And she got it. So the power of rehearsals can never, never be you know, dwarfed in movies, unless you don't know what you are doing, then you just go on set and say you want to act, you can never give your best. Because if you do it, you continue doing the same thing, the same expressions, the same modulations, the same type of acting in every set. But when you rehearse on, on your own, you give the director an easy job. You give your fellow artists an easy job. Even the crew members, you make them uh, you know, have their jobs easy. And next time, when they're looking for a character for a particular room where you are not, you say, ah, go and post your so person. Let that person come because she or he is good. This is because you have done your own work, your own rehearsal. I call it mirror rehearsal before coming. So your rehearsal is very important. No matter how little the scene is, you have to rehearse so that you fit into the scene. Once you are said, you must give the director less problem, less stress. And your home rehearsals helps you do this. Okay, now let me go into your relationship with your fellow actors. 
I'm, I just came out from a set, and uh, I have problem with one of the artists. We really foreign. We had disagreement, not on set, but out of the set. And a lady, and we are, we are, we are now in the movie, we are supposed to play love. And these are two people quarreling. What do you do? Nobody watching it knows that you quarrel you don't talk. The person wants to see the best. They have to put those things behind us to do what? To act, to play love, so that people will believe that this is husband and wife. So your relationship with your fellow artists and the cast, the crew, is very important. Like uh, if Jesus Christ Radley said, coming to set early makes you a good actor. If you're giving 10 o'clock, please, few minutes to 10, be prepared to go on set. Integrity, as she wrote, is uh, the seven points she marshaled out is only is going to push you faster in the industry than any other thing. So you have to make sure that you are at good terms on the same page with your director. How are you going to be in good terms with the director? You must rehearse, get your lines before coming on set, make sure you're on, on time, and don't ever argue with your director. Don't ever argue with the costumer. Don't ever argue with the makeup. Yes, a lot of girls want to be so beautiful on set, but the makeup have her own interpretation of the script. It's only the director who owns the story that with the makeup, I don't like this makeup, change it. He or she will now change it. But when you go argue with your director or your crew members, my dear, you will become a problem artist. They will never want you again. Mm -hmm. So please. Always have that good relationship line for coming on set. No matter how small the crew is, even if it's um, the PAs, be on good terms with them. Have good relationship with their PAs. Have good relationship with everybody on set. It pushes you faster than you think. Now, another is you must have very good relationship with your script. Whenever you have a script, it's your very, very good friend. Have a good relationship by studying your script. We don't encourage cramming. Don't cram anything. The cramming will not help you. Cramming will just you know, put you on one place. It will cost you. But when you internalize, understand the story, internalize the story, now go out and give it out. Do. Some writers, some producers, some directors may want you to remain on the script. We don't want you to at least or anything. Yes, but add some finesse to what you are doing. Even if, it, even if it's just not adding anything to the line, because you can add something and then the story, you will lose the storyline. You can remain on the screen, but your modulations and your presentations will now make that thing or that line go on more. So every time on set, be at peace, friendly with everything around you. I just, I just, I mean, I was excused to come on this uh, program today because of my relationship with the cast. And last time I was actually uh, online where everybody was watching me with the Nigerian flag. They were saying, ah, is, ah, is this man, what are you doing? This, 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 you know, because they know that I'm a good term with it. If I'm not a good term with them, the next person to go on set with me was, ah, I don't have the time. Let me go, let me go. So at every point in time, a good relationship with the cast, with the crew, it will fetch you the next job. It will even inform you of auditions. I remember those days when we don't have phone, no phone, no mobile phone in Nigeria, but someone will come to your house early in the morning and say, Do you know there is audition in first act? Do you know we're going to go to audition in Mushi? You know, because you are a good and those who are too, who feel too big, come on, I'm just this or that. They don't even tell them about auditions. They will just see us swimming. Ah, when did you do this audition? This day is easy. You can make a phone call. Then it was difficult. So their relationship matters a lot, particularly the director, because the director watches the monitor. He sees the camera. He sees what you are doing. No matter how you think the small the director is, I tell you, whenever I go on set, even if it's a new director that started today, I want to gain something from him. 
I want to gain something from every director I work with. What I gain from that director gives me something to work on the next film. And I want to leave an impression with that director. So the next time when they are looking for somebody, even if I'm not there, they say, go and look for Steve. So I urge you, if your first step to start down is very important. You must imbibe the seven ethics that uh, the true discovery said here. And you must add good relationship with your fellow artists and crew. And don't forget, you must be able to take part on this particular program. Because this program is going to put you, those who are not on this program may not really understand so many things about acting, the ethics of the basics of uh, screen acting. But because you are for two, you are privileged to be here. You have to gain, and you have to be contrary to this program. In fact, you have to be here before uh, we would open up so that you can get everything. And like David Riley said, don't forget your pain and paper. It's very, very important. You must jot out things. I've been jotting down things. I watched when Purity was doing her own drama. She was, you see, she had a little, we must have some, you must be fast, you must be smart, relatively smart. Can you, when you said her own purity came out, she was actually smart enough or creative enough to tell you to go and vote for her so that she will win. That's creativity. You must use every moment to do what to push what you do. And then I saw the end of from Cameroon doing the drum beat. You discover that he was actually trying to be someone else. I'm always trying to get a signature. That issue of having a bottle and doing all these things. We know, know, we know all these things. Create something new. The other girl, this Ajayi, that was the prophetess. Very beautiful something. She just went, you know, went with a language in Yoruba and then came back and beautiful things. I love all you did. Always try to be yourself. Rehearse before you go on set. So that when you rehearse with others, it will be an easy job. And always have good relationship with everybody on set. I may leave you early today because I'm going to go back on set. But once again, I wish you the best of luck. You are the shining stars of today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Unmute and clap. Unmute, everybody, unmute. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. But, sir, you're going to obey me now. Yeah, so now mute your phone, please. This lecture can only come from a grounded, professional, experienced actor. If you put into consideration everything he just taught you now, I mean, sky will not only be your limit. Talking about entertainment industry, because it's not an easy place. When you go on set, small thing, you begin to like chatterbox. Everybody will be scared of you. When you are casted in a film, they will tell you, ah, I better go, that girl. Mm. I better go. I wanted to produce a film sometime in Enugu. I won't mention the name of the star. When I mentioned her name, she's a superstar. They told me, ah, the person who was the location, the location lady, told me that the houses that we wanted, that they rejected to give out the houses because of that artist. I was asking, what did she do? Just a little thing. She smoked cigarettes and she quenched the cigarette boot on the rug. She used the toilet. She didn't flush it. Even if they don't have water, you have a personal assistant for God's sake. You can tell them, get water. Let's do this. Because of these two things, they refused to give us location. I had to decast the, the superstar and look for some other person because she can't hold my film for ransom. So like he just told you, if you put everything into practice, it will work for you. Because for sure, you're going to get there. By this time next year, your face will be getting a bit popular. In the next two years, because we have a lot of plans, by the grace of God, after you graduate, you'll be shooting some films and you'll be, get, we'll be getting you involved in the film. So if you put everything you're learning into practice, I'm telling you, you will succeed. Anyway, do you have any questions? 
spotlight them one at a time, please. Any question before Ajabo goes up and before we round up? Any question, Piruti? Any question, Tracy? Any question, um, Jennifer? Quickly, if you have a question, quickly, please. Um, my question goes like this. Like now, for instance, somebody wants to act a movie that wants to cry. Um, sometimes I try to make sure I cry, but the thing does not. Is it necessary I put onions or something to make sure there's tears on my eyes? I will throw that question to our legendary actor, Ajebo. Steve Abo. Unmute, please. No. Yeah. Now, if you continue using onions and rub, you will damage your eyes. Crying is an emotional something. Good. If you give me three seconds, I will bring out tears. I don't need onions. You need to be emotional. You need to understand the story that makes you cry. You need to be in that character. If it's, oh my God, you've lost everything in the world. Just assume it's happening. That is it. I think David defined what an actor who is an actor. When you are acting as somebody that has lost everything or have broken, you must be heartbroken. Yeah. And when you're heartbroken, just must come out. You, that is why uh, David refused to call it. I can tell you something like Mama G. People think she's a witch. She's wicked. Because she does it very, very well. Yes. If you play the role of a witch and nobody calls you a witch, you didn't do it well. Yes. If you play the role of a madman, everybody says, ah, this man must have been mad. You didn't do it well. They must say you have been mad or you are a witch or you are naturally wicked. Then you did it well. So bringing out chess is easy. Put yourself in that position. Give yourself some few minutes. Some use of other techniques. You can open your eyes wide and allow air to come in. The air will now help the tears to come out. We can remember something that happened to you that made you cry. A lot of people do a lot. Me, if I just remember the death of my mother, I will start crying. So you can remember something, you can be broken, you know, something that makes you cry. But please, please don't use anything artificial. Don't use onions. Don't use raw. It will damage your eyes. And for kind of like, how long will you use these things? Supposing you go to a place where there is no rub and onions, what will you do? <laughs> Please be very natural. Yes, yes. So thank you. Our legendary actor has given you an answer. That. Yes. Thank you so much. I know you are right because the reason why they say Mama G is a witch is because she plays the character very well. You know, if the Bible story is to be acted, somebody will play the role of a Satan, uh, of, of devil. And for people to call you devil, that means you have to play that role and play it well. You see, so that is what it is. So to be an actor, like I just said, you have to be emotional. Like Nosakri played a role that involves for him to go into that character, but he didn't go into that character as he should have. Because if you have, you will cry. But never mind, we'll be teaching you about expressions and emotions in our next um, lecture. That will be all for this section. Um, if you have any other question to ask, we'll reserve that for next week. We're already behind time. Nosakri, your question will be answered next week. Any of you that have a question to ask as well, we'll answer the uh, questions will be taken next week. Yeah, just before we round off, ensure to make first step to start on a global reality TV theater show. Invite people to come and watch your program. As many people watches you, the more popular you become. Don't just come on your own and sit. You need to invite people. When we are live streaming, share the link. Invite your friends, invite your family to come and watch you, to come and vote for you. That is the right thing for you to do. Okay? We'll be coming back again sometime next week, but I just want to remind you all that you've been watched around the universe from Europe, Asia, Africa. This is first step to stardom and you are the next star to be announced to the world. On behalf of the management and staff of the New Discovery TV London in extension, first step to stardom, Ajibo and um, David, our facilitators, we love you. To all Thank our you. participants of season six, we love you. To our fans watching us around the world, we love you. Thank you so much. We'll be here again, same time, next week, five to six. God bless you. <laughs>